In Shu, after the death of Liu Bei, his son Liu Chan becomes emperor. Zhuge Liang and the other ministers support him and make plans to restore the country to its former strength. After repelling the Wei invasion, they also succeed in conquering the troublesome Nanjong tribes. Elsewhere, Wu successfully repels the Shu attack on Yiling. When Zhuge Liang once more proposes an alliance, they accept. All of this was simply to oppose Wei, who continued to seek to conquer the entire land. While all this had been happening, Wei had focused their efforts on domestic affairs and increased their own strength in order to be ready for the upcoming showdown with Wu and Shu. This concludes my summary of the overall status of our territory at the present time. Next, I will report on the movements of Wei. To be honest, Zhuge Liang, I feel tired just listening to you. Will you allow me to rest a while first? Forgive me, my lord. I should have been more attentive. Zhuge Liang, you should rest a little as well. You are monitoring all domestic activity yourself, on top of which you seem to be making preparations for your northern campaign. If you continue to push yourself so hard, you will fall ill. I appreciate your concern, my lord. In order to ensure the success of the northern campaign, however, it is imperative that I eliminate all potential sources of trouble. For that reason, I cannot afford to neglect my duties of domestic government. Your diligence is truly appreciated. But if you do fall ill, the Northern Campaign cannot happen. It is well beyond my capabilities. If only there were someone who could act as a worthy lieutenant to you. Masu is currently acting as my deputy. He is a smart man who understands the way I think. We can expect big things from him during the Northern Campaign. I see. If you are satisfied, then I'm sure everything will be fine. We will now begin our preparations for the Northern Campaign. I crush Wei! I understand how you feel, Master Wei Yun, but it's important to be properly prepared. Madai speaks the truth. We have attained control over Nanjong, but there remain a number of tasks which must first be carried out. We can only send forth our troops once all of these issues have been resolved. However, the enemy will soon realize that we are making preparations. We must proceed swiftly and efficiently, and divide the tasks among us all. You mean there's no need for one person to do everything? That's right. Each mission must be carried out with precision if the Northern Campaign is to have a chance of success. I will be counting on all of you. There can be no land of benevolence without securing victory in this northern campaign. Prepare well for the upcoming battle. Okay, 
I have to collect as much timber as I can. Perhaps if I carry a lot of heavy wood, I'll build more muscle. My mission is to gather timber for the plank bridge. I'll have to try all the bases along the mountain line. Hey, who are you? This is our house. Get out of here. Gather around. Bandits are living here. This is a shoe base. I cannot allow such disrespect. My turn! My turn! I should be able to collect all of them. in our castle. Not here to try to take it, are you? No squatting in our base. Give it back. At once. Manage to win this one. It's good to see there are some people out there who can really fight. I've been entrusted with the vital task of securing the cooperation of the Cheung tribe. I must not let everyone down. But I can't help but feel this is an odd choice for a meeting place. It's far too close to the border between Wei and Shu. Oh, 
true forces. What are you doing here? Uh -oh. This is not the time to be fighting. <sighs> Chiang has been thwarted. As you can see, my father has caught me well. I am curious where you obtain such skill. I shall be watching you more. Looks like I'll have to reschedule that meeting with the Kyong tribe. After I came all this way. The Wei Army was waiting for the Chung tribe too? Something's very odd about all this. Perhaps I should take a look around. Yes. I am Mi Den, leader of the Chung tribe. You fought magnificently. Officers of Wei we're waiting for you as well. Did you set this battle up? I must admit that I did. I wanted to see which side was more worthy of our service. I will make up for this deception in future battles. I am relieved that we managed to win this one. Let us review how things are going so far. Negotiations with the Chion people appear to have been concluded satisfactorily. They will provide invaluable reinforcements. The construction of the Plank Bridge seems to be proceeding well. This should allow us to move safely even along the steep cliffside. Thanks to the fine work of all of you, preparations for our northern campaign are complete. We are ready to begin. Thanks to all of you, our preparations are now complete. We can now carry out the Northern Campaign. Zhuge Liang, you know, there will be no going back now. That's right. All we can do is continue along the path we have chosen and conquer Wei. For the sake of the grand ambition of Master Liu Bei, and for those who have sacrificed their lives for that cause, we must claim victory and build a land of virtue and benevolence. My lord, may I ask you a question? In preparation for the Northern Campaign, we've not only addressed all domestic concerns, but we've even made contact with Gong Sun Yuan in Liaodong. I must say that our movements have been far from subtle. Wei is almost certain to realize we are up to something. Why have you elected to pursue an approach which will draw the enemy's attention? When we took Han Zhong from Wei, we made use of the element of surprise. Since then, however, Wei has constantly had one eye on movements here in Shu. In which case, there is no point in trying to obfuscate. It is better that we make sure our preparations are perfect instead. 
I simply decided that it would be more effective to eliminate any potential for failure and ensure the highest possibility of success. My lord, if you will please forgive my impertinence. You've always prepared immaculately for every undertaking, but recently it seems to me that your preparations are perhaps excessively cautious. I fear that kind of boldness you once showed when you jumped into the fray against U at Shibi has been lost. The way commander is Sima E. He is the kind of man against whom no battle will go smoothly. We were able to claim victory during the invasion on five fronts because he did not yet have complete control over his army at the time. However, things have changed now. It is imperative that we prepare thoroughly and leave nothing to chance. I cannot help but feel that there's something that you're not telling me. I am your wife, my lord. I can sense these things. My lord, you're not... You are an intelligent woman, Yueying. I believe you understand my true intent. But I would prefer that we end this conversation here. I do not want my personal matters to affect the land in any way. Please. That is all that I, Jugolia, desired to say before advancing our campaign north. <sighs> ah. Master Zhao Yun, forgive me. Master Zhuge Liang's words made me remember days long past. That's right. You, father, and everyone fought together. Long before I was even aware of anything that was going on. That's incredible! You wandered, and you fought. As a result, you were able to establish Shu. Liu Bei! I, Liu Bei, will your dream fulfill! I would like to thank each and every one of you. I also would like to fulfill my father's dream. However, is there no path that does not involve fighting? But if there is an enemy, shouldn't we defeat them? The chaos has lasted too long. Let us end it once and for all. Let us defeat Zhao Wei! Defeat Zhao Wei! I do understand how you all feel. I pray for your success in this battle. Master Liu Bei, we are on our way. The first wave of troops led by Ma Su appears to be proceeding smoothly. 
It is time for us to go forward in support of them. This is a two-wave attack. It will allow us to strike with greater force and consistency and overcome the Wei army. I bring news. Master Ma Su's unit has been surrounded by the enemy at Jiting. He is requesting assistance at once. Furthermore, the fact that the first wave has been stalled has given the enemy the advantage, and our units are struggling across the battlefield. No. I did not anticipate that we would encounter such trouble at Jiting. I gave Ma Su detailed instructions and told his deputy, Wang Ping, to be sure to secure the key roads in and out of Jiting. The thing is, my lord, Master Ma Su disobeyed your orders and rejected Master Wang Ping's admonishment and set up camp on our mountaintop near Jiting. Ah, atop a mountain, one's supply lines can so easily be severed. Ma Su, did you overestimate your own ability? If we cannot protect Ji Ting, then the Northern Campaign is a failure. Our forces, though, are still fighting bravely. We must go to the aid of the first wave. We must also ensure that Sima Yi is repelled and the enemy's momentum blunted. You must rescue as many of our men as possible. I am counting on you. Uh. Understood. Masu and the others on the front line appear to be struggling. My turn. We need to regroup as soon as we are able. In order to do so, we need to take down Tian Shui, where Sima Yi is stationed. We must push back the Wei forces and rescue our allies. But I must admit, the enemy formation is truly magnificent. I wonder who could be commanding their forces. For the sake of my father, and my brother as well, I must protect the future of Shu with my own hands. If I can secure those two key locations, it should work in our favor. I will go forth! such skill. I shall be watching you more.
never been pressured like this before. How refreshing. I hope to meet you again soon. As you can see, my father has taught me well. Amazing! You are a swift and deadly warrior. such skill. I shall be watching you more. in battle. However, note that I am not one to back down from any challenge. My My might was insufficient to overcome you. It seems I still have far to travel along the path of the warrior. I am relieved we managed to win this one. Hold on this battle. For my lord, I will claim it. I will never give Chen Song up. Face my defense of steel. If we can get inside the castle, our superior numbers will give us the advantage. We will use siege ramps to scale the walls. The enemy is using siege towers. In which case, form archers on the walls! My turn! Our target must be the commander of the archer unit. If we take him out, the unit will lose direction. My turn! All we can do is retreat. All of Chen Song is all away in danger. Chen Seng is ours. This should turn the tide of the battle. 
battle. I am relieved that we managed to win. This one. possesses an uncommon style and beauty for a member of Shu. I look forward to this battle. I accept your challenge. I will not allow any man to best me. My turn. My turn. That was a most amazing battle. I am quite impressed with this enemy officer. I'm relieved that we managed to win this one. I am curious where you obtain such... The Shu forces must be tired after such a long journey. Let us give them the gift of eternal slumber. to fail me. Curse you, Zhuge Liang. The team of E has withdrawn. It appears we have managed to avoid total catastrophe. However, Injuries are still significant. Continuing the northern campaign in this state would be foolish in the extreme. 
As you can see, my father has taught me well. Thanks to the efforts of all of you, we have managed to repel Sima E and stifle Wei's momentum. However, we have also sustained significant damage. It will be impossible to proceed any further. We will retreat to Chengdu. I will consider how best to deal with Ma Su. My lord, I have brought with me an enemy officer that we captured. You must be the man, Jian Wei. You exhibited a remarkable understanding of strategy. The placement of your men was flawless. Kill me now! I will never bend to your will! Even in defeat, your loyalty to Wei is unbending. That is most admirable. But, the Wei army abandoned you to your fate, even after you fought so bravely to keep Tian Shui safe. Is there really any merit in remaining loyal to such people? I... I will decide what to do with you after we return to Chengdu. But I can promise you that you will be treated fairly. In fact, I have a proposition that I would like to make to you. I will come right to the point. John Wei, I would like you to help me devise my strategies going forward. You want me to act as your lieutenant? I fought against you not long ago and have only just surrendered to the Shu forces. It is not appropriate for me to accept such an important role. I do not wish to discriminate based on years of service. I am asking you to help me, because I believe you are a man of rare intellect. It is a singular honor to receive such praise from a man revered as the Sleeping Dragon and praised as the greatest mind of our age. But are you not concerned that I might betray you and return to Wei? As long as I still have a brush and some ink, I could make sure that such aspersions are cast upon you as to make it impossible for you to work with Wei again. But I do not want to do any such thing. It is my desire that you will give your heart and soul to the cause of Shu. Will you work with me to create a land of virtue? I have been moved by your passion and noble ambition. From today on, I will commit my every waking hour to the creation of the land of virtue of which you speak. I will devote myself to your cause, Master Zhuge Liang, Prime Minister, if I may call you that. I am most grateful to you. Despite our most diligent preparations, our previous northern campaign ended in failure. A second such failure will make our land of benevolence an even more distant dream. This time, I propose that we combine our efforts with Wu in order to ensure that the northern campaign is successful. While we do have an alliance in place with Wu, our relationship with them is not as it once was. I'm not sure they will be willing to do exactly as we ask. They would most certainly be unwilling if the only benefit were to accrue to us. 
But on this occasion, the Northern Campaign will be beneficial for both kingdoms. I am confident that I can convince them to cooperate. Very well. If you say so, I am sure you can make it happen. But, Shugliang, I want you to make me one promise. I am grateful that you are thinking of the good of the kingdom, but I also want you to think a little more of yourself. I am unable to help you myself, but you have Zheng Wei, Jin Sai, and the others. You must allow them to share the burden. Lord Liu Chang, I am not worthy of such words. 